Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn the basics of machine learning. Before we proceed, hit the like button and leave a comment below. You can also subscribe so you won't miss awesome videos from this channel. What is ML.NET and how does it work? ML.NET gives you the ability to add machine learning to .NET applications in either online or offline scenarios. With this capability, you can make automatic predictions using the data available to your application. Machine learning applications make use of patterns in the data to make predictions, rather than needing to be explicitly programmed. Central to ML.NET is a machine learning model. The model specifies the steps needed to transform your input data into a prediction. With ML.NET, you can train a custom model by specifying an algorithm, or you can import pre-trained TensorFlow models. Once you have a model, you can add it to your application to make the predictions. A machine learning task is the type of prediction or inference being made, based on the problem or question that is being asked, and the available data. For example, the classification task assigns data to categories, and the clustering task groups data according to similarity. Machine learning tasks rely on patterns in the data rather than being explicitly programmed. There are different machine learning tasks that you can choose from in ML.NET. Once you have decided which task works for your scenario, then you need to choose the best algorithm to train your model. In this video we are going to do a basic example of binary classification task. The binary classification is a supervised machine learning task that is used to predict which of two classes, categories, an instance of data belongs to. The input of a classification algorithm is a set of labeled examples, where each label is an integer of either 0 or 1. The output of a binary classification algorithm is a classifier, which you can use to predict the class of new unlabeled instances. Examples of binary classification scenarios include Making a decision to mark an email as spam or not Determining if a photo contains a particular item or not, such as a dog or fruit To proceed with this demo, make sure you have Visual Studio 2017 and up installed Download and install the ML.NET Model Builder tool from the Visual Studio Marketplace and install. Once you have all these set up, then proceed to the next step. Open Visual Studio and create a new .NET Core console app. Create a new project from the Visual Studio. Choose the c -sharp console app, .NET Core, project template. Change the project name to my ML app. Make sure to place solution and project in the same directory. Now, let's add machine learning to the project. Right-click on the My ML App Project in Solution Explorer and select Add, then select Machine Learning. This opens ML.NET Model Builder in a new docked tool window in Visual Studio. Model Builder will guide you through the process of building a machine learning model in the following steps. To generate your model, you first need to select your machine learning scenario. In this case, we will predict sentiment based on the customer reviews. In the Model Builder Scenario screen, select the Sentiment Analysis Scenario, which is a binary classification machine learning task. Download the dataset from the description below, and save it as Wikipedia Reviews.tsv in the MyML app directory we created. Each row in the dataset represents a different review left by a user on Wikipedia. The first column represents the sentiment of the text, 0 is non-toxic, 1 is toxic, and the second column represents the comment left by the user. The columns are separated by tabs. The next step is adding the data. In Model Builder, you can add data from a local file or connect to SQL Server database. In this case, you'll add Wikipedia Reviews.tsv from a file. Select File as the input data source in the drop down, and in Select a File Find and select Wikipedia Reviews.tsv. Under column to predict, select sentiment. 
The label is what you're predicting, which in this case is the sentiment found in the first column of the dataset. After adding your data, we are now going to train the model. Model Builder evaluates many models with varying algorithms and settings to give you the best performing model. Leave the time to train, the amount of time you would like Model Builder to explore various models, as 10 seconds. Note that for larger datasets, you should set a longer training time. Select Start Training to start the training process. You can keep track of the progress of model training in the progress section. Status shows you the status of the model training process. This will tell you how much time is left in the training process, and will also tell you when the training process is completed. Best accuracy shows you the accuracy of the best model that Model Builder has found so far. Higher accuracy means the model predicted more correctly on test data. Best algorithm shows you which algorithm performed the best so far during Model Builder's exploration. Last algorithm shows you the last algorithm that was explored by Model Builder. After Model Builder trains and selects the best model, you can move on to the Evaluate step, which shows you various output, like the best performing algorithm, how many models were explored, and the machine learning task, in this case binary classification, and lets you try out the model in the UI. You can make predictions on sample input in the Try Your Model section. The text box is pre-filled with the first line of data from your dataset, but you can change the input and head predict to try out different sentiment predictions. After evaluating and trying out your model, move on to the code step. In the code step in Model Builder, select Add Projects. Model Builder adds both the machine learning model and the projects for training and consuming the model to your solution. In the Solution Explorer, you should see the code files that were generated by Model Builder. My ML app ML console app is a .NET console app that contains modelbuilder.cs, which is used to train the model and program.cs, which is used to test run the model. My ML app ML.model is a .NET standard class library that contains modelinput.cs and modeloutput.cs. Input and output classes are for model training and consumption. ConsumeModel.cs is a class that contains the method for model consumption, and model.zip contains trained serialized ML model. Model Builder generates the trained model and code for you, including the next steps for model consumption, so you can easily use the model in your end-user.net application. Open program.cs code in your MyML app and add the following code.
now run my ML app. You should see the output predicting whether the input statement is toxic, true, or non-toxic, false. Congratulations, you built your first machine learning model with ML.NET Model Builder. Now that you've used Model Builder for sentiment analysis, in future videos, we will try other scenarios. Thank you.